Well, good evening, friends. Thanks for tuning in just for our devotional before our time of prayer uh, this evening on Zoom. God willing, I'll be sending out uh, the little link and you'll all have received that even by now. We continue to look to the Lord uh, in these uh, days of lockdown. They are strange for us. Um, we look to the Lord for his wisdom and let's look to the Lord for his presence and his help. He is our ever present help in time of trouble. Now tonight we're turning to, uh, returning to Isaiah chapter 40 once again and just looking at a further two verses in this uh, wonderful chapter verses 28 and 29 and it's within this chapter that God is speaking great words of comfort. He has said in the beginning of this chapter I will make a way uh, to come to you, I will bring you to myself I will keep my word. I will certainly do it. You can trust me. He has promised to deliver his people and be their good shepherd. And yes, over the past weeks, we've heard that message. Uh, but perhaps like God's people in Isaiah's day, we haven't always gotten the full benefit of the word of God. God's words here, they are designed to give us comfort in our hardships. But at times uh, we have failed to grasp. That behind these words, God is saying, look, I know, I know that you are suffering and I care about you. Uh, last week then in verses 12 to 27, we were told by Isaiah to behold your God. If we truly behold him and the manner of his love for us, then in these words from God, we will find comfort. Well, have we been doing that? Uh, have you taken the time to behold your God, behold his immensity, behold his wisdom, his worthiness, his reality, his sovereignty? It's when we grasp more fully just who is speaking to us in the word, then comfort is more fully ours and we will be comforted and strengthened when we recognise the voice. In verses 28 and 29, we now get a further reminder about who God is and what he does for his people, God says. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak. And to those who have no might, he increases strength. Wonderful words. And maybe that's exactly where you are tonight. You feel that you're weak. You feel that you're done. That you are exhausted. That you have little strength left. Maybe it's the strain right now of parenting or the pressure of homeschooling. Uh, maybe the virus is in your home and it's wreaking havoc there. And just getting things done and looking after each other and keeping one another safe may just be the, the weight of old age and declining health. might be the frustrations of, of lockdown and constant bad news. And maybe you just feel tired and confused with everything that's going on. Maybe you feel you need a break, a break from all of this. And yet, like the exiles in Babylon, you can't do that. You can't run away. All you can do right now is sit and listen to this little video on YouTube. What would God have you to know? What is he saying to you tonight? And he is saying, I believe, you know this. You know this, my dear child. You know who I am. You have heard this before and you have heard my voice before. I am your God. I am the everlasting God. I am the creator of all things. I am the one who is omnipotent. I am the one who is omniscient. And I see you. And I see that you are tired. I see that you are worn out. I understand where you're at. But I am your God. And remember that whilst you are tired, that you feel flat. I never get tired, says the Lord. I never misunderstand you either. I know everything about you. 
and I love you. With all of my greatness, the Lord is saying, in all who I am, I love you. And I will comfort you. I will give power to the weak. And I will increase your strength. Believer, this is our God. The immense, powerful, wise, worthy, sovereign Lord of all. The Holy One. He is talking to us. His desire is to give you and I strength. He knows we are weak. He understands that we have no might. So don't be tempted to say, well, God neither knows nor cares. Take comfort. Be strengthened because he does know. And he does care. And his design for you is that you share in his strength. Be comforted because your God gives power to the weak. How, we might ask, does God do this? And really, he does it in a million different ways, we could say. For the sovereign Lord God rules over every single detail of our lives. And it may be his will to give you physical strengthening after an illness. He may give your heart rest and comfort after a bereavement. He may give you strength so that you persevere in your work, so that you persevere at home, that you persevere with your children, or you persevere with your mum and dad. The Sovereign Lord, he knows you in all of these details. And he knows the strength you need now, tonight. And yet in context here in Isaiah, the weakness and the lack of might of God's people has been their sin. They have been beguiled by surrounding nations. They have trusted in themselves rather than trusting in God. They've been led astray by the world, the flesh and the devil. In terms of standing firm in the faith, in terms of living holy lives, they were weak. And I think, you know, if we're honest with ourselves, so often we are spiritually weak. We need God's pardon. We need God's strength. As we learned back in verse 11, we need God's shepherd. We need Jesus to shepherd us through. And yet that's exactly the power and the strength that God promises to his weak people. He knows we're weak, but he gives power to the weak. And to those who have no might, he increases strength. He's talking about Jesus. He's going to give us Jesus. He knows we're sinners. He knows we're weak. He knows that we will perish without him. But because he loves his people, he gives us his strength. Not in some kind of spiritual tonic. Not in a new spiritual program. But he gives us his son. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He is the one we need. David said it in Psalm 18 verse 2. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God my strength in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Paul said it in Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And it's not that Paul felt super strong all of the time, quite the opposite. For Jesus said to him in 2 Corinthians 12.9, my grace is sufficient for thee. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. And so Paul said, Therefore most gladly I would rather boast in my infirmities. Why? That the power of Christ may rest upon me. So Christian, come to your saviour. Admit your infirmities, admit that you need him, cry to him and be comforted and be strengthened by Christ. Believe in him. 
there is comfort, there is strength for all who believe in the Saviour. It doesn't mean that our circumstances will automatically change or that they'll change immediately. It doesn't mean that all, all of our burdens in life will disappear. But it does mean that we will be given the strength we need to carry those burdens. Indeed, they are the burdens that our all-wise, sovereign Lord has given to us. But even as he places that load upon us as his dear children, he is telling us, keep your eyes on me. Behold your God. Behold my love. Behold my strength. Behold my son. I have given him for you. So let's do that again this evening. Let us turn our eyes upon Jesus, look full in his wonderful face, and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Amen. May God help us to fix our eyes on Christ our Lord. Amen.